Hello everyone, and welcome back, for the very first time in 2022, to Gary's Mod. And today the map I'm going to be exploring is GM Xanthus. Or at least I assume that's how it's pronounced, it's kind of a weird name. But weird is spitting here, because the way this map was explained to me, it's got a lot of very alien and very strange imagery, but it's clashing with imagery that's iconic of Earth and our own familiar experience. As you can see right here. I mean, look, we've got this purple haze and strange cliffside and glowing plants back in there. But it's all contrasted with clearly human construction, human language, the sounds of waves crashing against the shore and seagulls overhead. So I'm really curious to find out what's actually supposed to be going on here. And you know, I feel like this is an idea that just exemplifies what makes the Source engine so creepy and yet so comfy. I mean, look, I feel like I could take a seat right here. I mean that literally, I'm not making a Chris Hansen joke. But I mean, look at this, it's this- Oh no, I accidentally knocked over the bench, I didn't realize it would be a physics prop. Alright, moment ruined. To get back onto my original point though, a big part of the look and feel of Half-Life 2 is how, after all this time since the invasion, alien life has become endemic to Earth, in a way beyond just the ways it's been deliberately introduced. I mean, we had caves full of grubs and ant lions, not even caves, but human-built mines that are the perfect home for these life forms that were never meant to be here. I mean, look at this, we have our familiar imagery of the earth marsh and bog and swamp with this bioluminescent alien plant life just kind of inhabiting in the middle of it like it was always meant to be there. But let's get a move on and try and look at what this map is all about. I'm kind of curious if we'll be able to get an idea for an intended story of what's supposed to have happened here. Or maybe it just takes place in the Half-Life 2 universe. Now, before I start exploring this bunker that's over here on the left, or... Actually, I can't even really be sure that it is a bunker. It's built into the cliffside, but I guess we don't really know that until we get inside. Uh, but anyway, before I do that, I'm gonna head over here, because I feel like if I can get a glimpse of the edge of the world and really look off into the distance, that'll give me a better idea of what's actually supposed to be going on here. But look at this, let's just take this in for a moment, and appreciate the care that's gone into creating this immersive environment. We've got our little bog on the right here, with the sounds of the crickets, or frogs, or maybe even something alien altogether. The trees that sway in the wind, and the sound of waves crashing against the shore, and that... looks like I can faintly make out a lighthouse in the fog. You can tell that a lot of care has gone into this map, and that's something that it's really easy to miss until you're actually in it. Those look like gravestones. And yet this path is lit. It's almost like this was a path through a park at one point. And also, I always have to note that... It seems that the power is still on, and yet... Candles? S.O.S. Whatever disaster happened, it looks like help didn't come in time. Or at all. That lighthouse is completely isolated. There's no way to get there from land. Trail that runs along the cliff's edge.
and a staircase going down. Really ramshackle staircase, but... Oh, is there an underground to this map? It seems like every map I play ends up having some form of underground. Yes. Okay, I, I don't have time to deal with this right now. Let's explore the surface first. Come on. So whatever happened, it was some kind of disaster. But what was it? Of course, we always have to keep in the back of our mind that this might just literally be set in the Half-Life universe. Because the aesthetic of what we're looking at is actually very similar to what happened in that series of games. Oh, I don't like this. Don't like this, 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 don't like this. Oh. Oh. I don't like heights in real life, and VR is no exception. See, we still have these electric lights running, but... There's also candles and fires that have been placed about. Which leads me to believe that... Those must have come after whatever disaster took place. We've got a cave on our left. A very shiny cave on our left. But as I said before, I feel like I want to explore the rest of the surface before I start going underground. Oh, that's not a tree. That's a statue. But what is the story with these statues? And what is this place? What is this island? Because we had some construction back there that looked almost government. We've got a lighthouse. We had what looked like scrapped shipwrecks, but... Then we've got these candles. We've got these old statues. I'm really feeling like there's layers to this place, like there's different eras of history that we're meant to be gathering. I shouldn't be trying to contextualize it all in the context of one purpose. But since this is right here, let's check out these caves. Now this is something that I have no idea how source mappers are able to do. I've got some very ominous howling coming from inside. But look at this, there's something with the textures of these cave walls. It actually looks wet and slick. It looks very nice. And there's enough What was that? That sounded... either like a creature, but there was something in the very beginning of that that sounded... disconcertingly like a human scream. Oh. Look at that. Do I want to jump down there? Probably not, right? Alright, well, for now I'm gonna head back, but... If I'm left with nothing else to do... I'll jump down that hole and see where it takes me. Now this is weird, we have... Cyrillic up there, but... English over here. Sandbags. It's like they were trying to keep water out, but clearly they failed. That sounded like a human whistle. Some very creepy noises playing in here. Ah, I see they've done the thing I love so much, where there's 
actually ceiling above the false ceilings really adds a sense of depth and verticality to the map. But of course, all this begs the question, what happened here? I mean, if we go back, those sandbags imply that whatever happened, the people who were here tried to stop it. And now something else entirely is here. Now, something that I really love about this map, and it's doing very well, that I haven't really seen since, uh, since way back when I played Blackbrook Asylum, is that you have to look a little bit closer in order to see what this place would have looked like in its heyday. I mean, I've... For those of you who don't know or haven't seen the videos, I do a lot of uh, real-life urban exploration. And there's this one place I always go to that, when you're walking through, it looks like ancient ruins. And when you look at old pictures, it's very hard... It's very jarring to see the same halls and rooms that you've walked through in such a completely different state. This here looks almost like a cave that you'd see in, like, Tomb Raider or something. But look around. We've got these marble or granite floors with wood paneling on the walls. If you can look past the decay and the overgrowth, you can kind of start to see what it actually looked like. And this is the second time I've seen signs that say hotel. This doesn't look like any hotel I've ever seen. And a big ol' hole in the wall right here. Oh, seems like there's much more to this map than I expected. And there's more wrecked ships along the coast. And will we be able to head down there? It looks like we will. There's another one of these statues blocking my path. Alright. <clears throat> Jump down here. This is just like Montauk Point. Except unlike Montauk Point, there's an invisible wall stopping me from going any farther. Okay, never mind. Something's very odd here. It's like I can't pinpoint, even after seeing inside the building, I can't pinpoint exactly what this place was when it was in operation. I don't think there'd be much to see, even if we could get down to that shipwreck. But there is an entrance to those sewer tunnels over there. And presumably... That pipe that we had the option of crawling into comes out right here. In these videos, you'll often hear me talking about, like, okay, this door probably goes back to where we were before, or this tunnel probably comes out here. That's me trying to kind of contextualize the entire map, because I try to take these things in such a way where I can see everything without repeating a lot of locations. And so, I'm always trying to gain a mental model of how a place is laid out, especially on a map that's fairly complex like this. Notice of plant closure. Plant is to be decommissioned on May 23rd, 2006. Now, that's most likely an asset from Infra. But nevertheless, the choice to include it has to be included in my own determination for what's supposed to be going on here. This is so overgrown. This actually almost looks like the halls of a mall. The signs in the front were saying hotel. This is so confusing and such an amalgamation of different types of structures, it almost makes it feel like the building itself has grown like plant life. Like it's just creating different structures that aren't really tied together. It almost reminds me of some pictures I've seen of a plant that started 
growing branches out of leaves. Uh, free stuff. I guess whoever left this place was fine with it being looted. And looted it was, as someone made it their home. Ooh, a free cannon printer! <laughs> Christ, I won't pass that offer up. Assuming it's still in there. Skylights? Wait, how can there be skylights? Wasn't this whole thing built into a cliff? Okay, this building isn't the only thing that makes sense anymore. The geometry of the world around it is starting to confuse me. And this desktop is still open with a command menu. Some very inventive imagery at play here. I mean, look at this flower bed. It's pretty much the one place that there's actually meant to be plants. And yet even this is overgrown beyond what was ever intended with some alien plant life that probably hadn't even been discovered yet when it was placed here. But it kind of, I guess whatever spores or seeds would cause something like this to grow just kind of organically found their way in here. And it just goes to show how all of this alien life kind of merged with the Earth environment. And look over here, it's like this tree grew out of the soil that made its way over here and just had nowhere to go, so it grew up and out. Here looks like a comfy place to sit down. See, this is a very deliberate choice. This cozy little, I don't know, I assume bar? All destroyed, and yet it's like there's this one corner that's retained its original mood, and from that, you can kind of gain an idea of what the whole place was like. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Alright, just to carefully step around that. What is this? I believe we found the endpoint of the gravestones and the statues that we've been seeing. Do you see that? Okay, what I just saw is going to be very hard to explain. Even more so because I'm not sure what you're going to see on your screen. But with this headset, when I get close enough and look into that purple whatever it is, as I turn my head, it's like I can see like large objects or structures moving inside of it, but overlaid over everything else. Like these... just weird images that move in relation to my own view. It's very, very hard to describe. But whatever it is, it's making me feel like I probably don't want to step in that. Or disturb these candles, for that matter. Making me crouch. More holes in the floor. It's like there was a concerted effort made to tunnel into the sewers. Or maybe to tunnel out. The lore of this place just got a lot more interesting in my mind. Speaking of... Oh, 
Oh, I, I thought this water was like really deep, but that's actually the ceiling being reflected. There's some gorgeous things going on with the water in this map. The way the cave looked all slick, and we're even seeing some of that on the ceiling here. The way... Ugu! Never mind! Oh, we are in good hands after all! It's my good friend Ugu! Ugu, remember me? Come on, big hug, big hug, buddy. Oh, Gary's mod won't let me get close. Uh, everybody, let me introduce you to my friend Ugu. Uh, Ugu and me m met when I was playing Infra. I actually discovered him pretty much while I was making the video on video game Easter eggs. Ah, oh, how you been, Ugu? Oh, I <laughs> that is so crazy to see that here. And a reminder that, you know, for as new and as good looking as it is, Infra is still a source game and its assets are compatible. Oh, well, that explains that. I am no longer worried about the very cultish aspects of this map. Look at all this. That's more than a little bit foreboding. But I'll get back to that in a second. Yeah, this goes back to what I was saying before. When we see areas that aren't so dilapidated, it looks like a modern structure, but then you come to these areas, part of the same building, that are all overgrown, and it it looks like an ancient temple. And it always makes me think about what all of these places that we consider so familiar will look like after we're all gone and after it's all abandoned. That's part of why I love urban exploration so much, is because you actually kind of get... You get the early preview of what that's going to look like. And it's incredible how different a space can look. That's why, whenever you explore somewhere, I always recommend... After you found the site, after you've already been through it, trying to look up and find historical images of the place, you will be so shocked at the difference. I just got jump-scared by... A cartoon baby. For the first time in this map, though, we see something truly dark. Oh, it's a hole in the floor of an elevator. Leading down the elevator shaft and proving once again that there's more to this map. Much more. In the underground. Oh, look at this lighting. Something that's kind of interesting here, we've spent this whole map walking around all these bioluminescent organisms. The still-powered uh, vending machine actually kind of looks like one of those bioluminescent organisms. It's actually kind of strange how well it blends in. In an environment that's being reclaimed by nature, it actually almost looks like it belongs here, but only because of the alien organisms that had become part of that environment. That looks like a door we haven't seen before. You know, there have been multiple times where I've looped back in on what I feel like should be something I've seen before and it just hasn't happened. It's like, this place really does feel endless. But also, you know, it begs the question, what is this place? I mean, these look more like apartments than hotel rooms. Oh, there's that painting I hate so much. I'm not sure what game it's an asset from, but it's been featured in a lot of these maps that I played. This does not look like something I want to be standing in. I saw... I saw that symbol way, way too late. Ugh. I spent too long in here, I feel like I'm gonna end up like the cast of Stalker. <laughs> what a scare! 
Just burned my butt. Whoops. What a scare. Morco, we meet again. I came in here and I started hearing that noise, trying to look around for the source, and just as it reached its crescendo, I turned around and saw that. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't like this one bit. There's another hole indicating that someone was tunneling around. Oh my god, I did not... Okay, I was getting a little bit worried that this map would be something that I look at more from an analytical perspective than a scary map. Okay, I no longer feel bad. What is this? More importantly, this seems to be the only way to access this area. Oh, stop that. More of those glowing mushrooms. Hang on. There's a lot of things that I'm aware that I looked at briefly and didn't get back to, but I'm being pulled in all kinds of different directions. It's making it very hard for me to make heads or tails of this space. Whoever was living in this apartment had their own secret area. It's almost like, okay, here's my story for this map as I'm piecing it together thus far. It seems like some kind of disaster happened that isolated this place from the rest of the world. And I am starting to think it was some kind of luxury hotel, which does kind of explain the different shops and areas that we've seen. I mean, because hotels do have things like that on their ground floor. However, the people that were remaining here tried to survive for some time, and maybe some of them either went insane or knew something that the others didn't, and ended up forming some kind of cult, or developed some weird religious beliefs Possibly around the... Uh, weird things just happened to me. I just phased through the wall. Didn't even know that was possible. But they developed some kind of cult, possibly based on the alien life that's been growing around, or maybe just from sheer insanity that came from the cabin fever of having to stay here. Possibly with a lot of people. Still need to crouch a little more to get through here. Maybe the alien life... Stop! Oh my god, I'm gonna... I just need to get away from here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I just don't want to be around that anymore. Maybe whatever alien life was deposited here... ...releases, like, spores or... ...something, does something... ...to influence the minds of the people that are near it. If so, that's really a terrifying thought. Well, we're back out where we started. We're gonna start moving underground soon, but first I'm gonna head back and take a look at some of the areas that I missed. What could these windows possibly be looking out on? I must once again remind you that we are built into a cliffside. Okay, I think I've seen most of it. And you know those... ungodly sounds that occasionally echo down the corridors of this place. I had at first attributed to the alien life growing all around, but... After that one room, I'm not so sure. I couldn't leave, of course, without checking out what's going on over here. Looks like it's just more, uh, more apartments. The pizza is a lie. Well, I don't know about you, but I've never been lied to by pizza. It seems like maybe somebody was possibly barricaded down here 
and they just tore a hole through the ceiling and broke down. Or used it as a way to escape and climb up and out. Either way, I'm not optimistic about their chances. There's a lot of different ways for me to access the tunnels right now. But this one looks to be the most inviting. And then again, maybe that's not me talking, maybe it's my knees. Hazardous Materials Bay. This is quite a large infrastructure for one single island hotel. Ah, those ropes are climbable. We'll keep that in mind. Oh no. This doesn't... This doesn't enter the rest of the system that we saw at all. This only acts as one pass through the cliffside down to the shipwrecks that we saw before. Oh, and we can also walk back up this way. But unlike the other shipwreck, this one seems to have a path that can actually lead us to it. Like we're supposed to come over here and explore. Why there's a light down here, I do not know. Although it's very conveniently pointing out this ladder I can use. Maybe there's something here that can help us get over to the lighthouse? Alright, on to the second most inviting entrance. Which is less inviting by a significantly wide margin, but... We're starting to run out of options that don't involve me having to crouch down on a vinyl floor. Can we perhaps stop the flow? Doesn't seem so. I don't like the cessation of all outside noise and how the purple fog seemingly permeates the air down here as well. Oh, it is dark. Dark, 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 but there's just enough light that I'm not justified in turning on my flashlight. And now, under this red glow, it kind of looks like a river of blood, doesn't it? Respirators required in this area. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. We must be in the basement of the hotel. Like I said before, just gorgeous things going on with water on this map. Just having that little bit on the ground makes the whole thing feel so much more alive and more realistic. Because in real urban exploring, like half the areas you go to will have a lot of water on the ground. If it's rained any time recently, it'll be there. Right, crouching down anyway. What is the purpose of this place? There does not seem to be one. Generator room. Well, I'm kind of curious to see what this is. There's an ominous sight. I'm kind of curious to see how the power is staying on. Or what these windows could possibly be looking out onto. Not only are we built into a cliff face, we're underground! How does that work? Oh, and there's even more underground to get to. Ah. Uh, that at least contextualizes where we are somewhat. We're at the bottom of that elevator shaft that we saw before. See, there's the hole in the bottom of the elevator. Okay, before I head down even further... Oh, you know what? I'll do this now. I can't imagine this leads to a much wider area. <sighs> Maybe I was wrong. Oh, 
this door is not going to open. No, sadly not. Can I... And I'm not saying we should do this. Kill the power. No. Now around the corner there is something that I'd very much like to talk about. That massive gravestone in the basement. But the thing is, because of the way it's framed, it almost doesn't look too out of place. It's in the sewer basement of a hotel, and yet, because of all this dirt and rock that's been deposited, because of all the growth that's come out of that, if you were to just box your view in like this, it... It almost looks normal. It might- if you were to crop the sides out of this, it might take you a minute to realize that it's in a weird place. It looks natural, but at the same time, not. And there's sandbags placed around it to keep the water levels from rising up to that point. Now, there's a vent right there, but I'm not going to be dealing with that right now. Okay, being pulled in several ways now. One of which leads farther down. By the way, this... I've actually determined through a lot of scientific uh, studies... This... Is the scariest angle to view a door from. Ask any scientist, they'll tell you I'm correct. Huh. This looks like it might go farther than I thought. There's a lot more to this map than meets the eye. That looks like some kind of gas leak. This is huge. No way this is all under the hotel. <gasps> oh, it's a rock. Or a gravestone. I, I legitimately thought it was the silhouette of a person. Okay, I don't like those sparking wires so close to that gas leak. That's probably an accident waiting to happen. Coolant system. Okay. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, I feel as though all of this is a tremendous amount of excess infrastructure for a hotel. Gas leak right there. That'll probably injure me. And that doesn't look like something I want to jump down into. Yep. I guess it didn't kill me, so that's good. Coming back now through the graveyard. And we're heading up a little bit, and maybe this will lead back into the hotel. Oh, these are some very narrow doorways and corridors. Very claustrophobic. Things like this really feel very different in VR. We can climb all the way up to the top. Ugh. As I said, as I've said before, though, uh, nope. We were bamboozled. Ah. Uh, that daylight. When you spent so much time underground in the dark, daylight really does start to feel like... Well, like something special. And now we need to head back down here. Have we seen this before? This has got to be part of the hotel, but I don't recognize this room. Yeah, this is definitely... Yep, we're back in the hotel. Although I don't rec recognize these areas in particular. Oh, nope! Nope, we found the Ugo room! Wow, I didn't even... I never even saw this whole area. I never took notice. But it's always cool to me how these man-made corridors can end up looking like a cave.
What have I just stumbled upon? What were those lights that just shot up? What is this structure? Having it be directly across from this statue with the hole torn in so that the light shafts will come down and illuminate it. It's like twin opposing monuments. I am so curious what all this means. I just don't feel like I have the pieces to start putting together. I had thought that I had a pretty good idea of what was going on here. That some cataclysmic cosmic disaster had happened that isolated this place from the rest of the world. And either from the isolation itself or something to do with the alien life that's now endemic to this island the people here went insane, started some kind of cult, and killed the rest. And eventually they all died off through whatever means. But then I saw that tower and the lights that shot up and... Now I just don't know what to think. And there's not really anywhere else to look for answers. Besides at the bottom of the hole in this cave. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh. oh, the vertigo is real. Oh. Oh, I felt my stomach drop. Oh, no going back now. And there's another one of these gravestones down here. And another hole in the wall. Leading to human construction? How is that possible? How is this at all possible? It's almost... The way this world is structured almost treats the human construction as if it were natural growth. Like they're all just... Like, the structures of these buildings themselves are just genetic or geological possibilities that can express themselves in the environment. More candles, so someone's been down here. It looks like more of the hotel, but we're much too far down for that. Whatever happened here, it might predate whatever disaster took place. Because this all looks very old. <laughs> French quality map by Trap. Traps. Wait, Trazi? Trazi. Trazix? Is that an X at the end? By Trazix. Ah, <laughs> I see. I found the creator room. Ooh, and a baguette. Can I have? Can I have? No, no, no. Oh, this really is a nightmare. When I reach towards it, it just pushes me away. Come on, no. Ah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find a punchline at the end of this, but we may not be at the end quite yet.
And I guess that's that. I don't know what kind of revelation I was expecting to gain from this, but... I guess that just goes to show that whatever happened here, it happened in the past, and whoever was involved is long gone. Except... Maybe there's more to find yet. Do I really want to do this? I've come this far. Black Mesa Research Facility? This is the Half-Life Universe! We're right back in... We're just right back in the power plant. I thought I'd get some answers going through there, but I'm just left with more questions than ever. Although I guess this means that, at the very least, I get to continue my life on the surface of the island. What an incredible map. It answers just enough questions to keep you asking more questions. Please comment down below if there's important things that I missed. I know there's large parts of this map that I just didn't see because it's so hard to keep track of where I have and haven't been. And of course, if you know any more about the story of this place or the map or just what's supposed to be going on here, please comment down below because I'd love to hear it. I am so intrigued by this place. Oh, such an absolute gem of a map. And such a huge one for something that seemed so small on the surface. But for now, I'm going to end my exploration here. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you'd like to try this map out for yourself, I'll be including a workshop link in the description below. And if there's any other maps or just videos in general that you think I should do, the best place to do that is at the Discord, which will also be linked in the description. And of course, I will see you in the next one.